Yo, what's up, man? Let's cut, to, let's cut to the fucking chase. Hit the like button if you're watching this video. Frankie Diamonds TV, subscribe. Almost at a thousand. So, Mike Vick, the Pro Bowl is fucking stupid. I think the Pro Bowl should be banned. It's a bullshit exhibition game. But nonetheless, Michael Vick is going back to the Pro Bowl. They're going to have four captains, NFL legends. <coughs> um, he should be in the Hall of Fame if they're going to consider him an NFL legend. But, uh... There's always some backlash. You know, white white forgiveness is hard to fucking get. Um, you see white people who are vilified get forgiven all the time. Martha Stewart, Don Imus, Harvey Weinstein, just to name a few. Um, they get their, they pay their dues or whatever, their debt to society, and they put it under the rug, and it's like nothing ever happened. It's almost impossible for a black person, let alone a black man, to get white forgiveness like that. And, of course, Mike Vick served 18 what was it, 18 months in prison back in 2007. He was suspended from the league indefinitely for dogfighting. He filed chapter, chapter 11 bankruptcy. They stripped this man down to nothing for dogfighting. I look, I'm not the biggest animal lover. Um, I like dogs. I don't love them. Um, but a dog's life will never equal in value to a human being. I'm just being for real. You know, shout out to, I love watching animal docs. Shout out to National Geographic, Animal Planet and all that. But let's be for real. Um, this man didn't kill anybody. He didn't pull an OJ. He didn't pull a Dante Stallworth. He didn't pull an Aaron Hernandez. But he has been fighting for white, white, uh, uh, you know, for not white acceptance, but for white forgiveness for so long. And I did a video on this months ago where he literally had to change his whole persona to get back. To get back in the NFL, he had to get Tony Dungy to lobby for him, the most respected black coach in NFL history. Then after that, after Tony Dungy was able to talk the NFL into giving him a chance, he had to change his whole persona. He had to cut the braids, fresh, clean cut, cut shave the beard, cover up the tattoos, you know, look, you know, like comfortable to their standards and uh, take the whole, you know, basically strip his whole identity to make them comfortable with him. You know, because he played in Atlanta, the blackest city in America. It was a perfect fit for Michael Vick. And, you know, he comes back, plays for the Eagles, had a great year, came up short. Then he played for the Jets. No one remembers that. Went to the Steelers. I remember when he went to the Steelers, they were boycotting in front of uh, Heinz Field. A lot of fans, you know, did not want Michael Vick on the roster, even though Big Ben was clearly the franchise starting quarterback. Um, but now you have this situation where this cunt, uh, Joanna Lynn started a, position, a petition on change.org where she wants Vick removed from the Pro Bowl game as a captain. And she's already got over 200,000 signatures. And she says, and quote, just saw this on Facebook and I was absolutely disgusted. When is the NFL going to take any responsibility for the behavior of its current or former players? To honor a man who had zero regard for animals is unacceptable. And I would like your help to make sure he is not honored at the 2020 NFL Pro Bowl. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> and of course, the cowards that at the NFL, they don't take up for certain players. The NFL, Fox Sports, who he works for as an analyst, have not responded to the request for a comment from CNN. No surprise. Um, the Pro Bowl is in Orlando now, which is another reason why this game should be canceled. I mean, you went from Ohio, Hawaii to Orlando. Nigga, that's like going from London to Cleveland. Like, what the fuck you... Uh, and, and the other captains are Terrell Davis, Daryl Green, Bruce Smith. They're going to be mentors, and you know they're going to coach up the young guys. But this story really hasn't gotten that popular and I think it's disgusting and you would think because uh, it's going to be Lamar Jackson is going to win MVP for the third time in five years a black quarterback is going to win MVP Cam Newton did it in 2015 Patrick did it Mahomes did it last year cover up Madden Lamar Jackson is going to do it this year by a landslide and number two is Russell Wilson so think about it even if Lamar Jackson doesn't win it's going to go to Russell okay so you would think <laughs> that you know because the ignorance was always the stereotype. Black quarterbacks are too, they're, they're not smart enough to read defenses. They're not disciplined to study film. You know, that has been, that whole stereotype has been shattered. You know, but it's, it's a position that was dominated by white guys for years. And white America is having to accept the fact that, yo, these black quarterbacks can ball too. You know, who, who, who passed up on Lamar Jackson last year that isn't probably pulling their hair out, general managers around the league, you know. And Michael Vick, if it wasn't for Michael Vick, it wouldn't be no Lamar Jacksons or anything like that. But like I say, to, to get white forgiveness 
is almost impossible, you know. And I've seen people who done way worse get forgiven and get swept under the rug like it was nothing, you know. Martha Stewart, they don't even bring up her prison rap sheet no more. She's had multiple TV shows, and it's like it's like she not only did she bounce back, her reputation she got even more popular after after doing jail time, you know. But when it comes to a black man <laughs> getting uh, forgiveness from white folks is damn near impossible. And it's a shame that Michael Vick, after all these years, we're talking since 2007, he's still fighting to get that forgiveness from white America. And it worked even after the persona change and working for Fox, there's still going to be some assholes like this bitch, you know, a petition. Really? You know, and I doubt it if the NFL is going to, you know, this is going to really do anything. But that's that's ridiculous, man. Let me know what y'all think. Um, they want to boy boycott. They want to boycott, and uh, they want to get Michael Vick up out of the Pro Bowl game. I'm out of here.